Hi everyone, my name is Eduardo and today I'll be talking about fabrication-aware parametric design of segmented concrete shells. Construction industry is responsible for nearly half of the UK's carbon emissions. Recent investment in reducing operational energy in buildings means that embodied energy will soon approach 100% of the whole life energy. Since concrete is responsible for more than 5% of carbon emissions worldwide, a fundamental step towards reducing embodied carbon is to drastically reduce the amount of concrete in buildings. Building on such research, we are working on a project titled Automating Concrete Construction, which is a collaboration between the universities of Bath, Cambridge and Dundee, and several industry partners, and funded by UKRI under their Transforming Construction Program. Our main objective is to explore the potential of structurally efficient non-prismatic geometries to substantially reduce the amount of concrete in building elements. We are working on the creation of an end-to-end -end digital processes to automate the design and manufacture of non-prismatic building elements, enabling designers and concrete manufacturers to adopt these more efficient designs. We are exploring the benefits of using concrete thin shells for building floor slabs, which represent more than half of the structural mass of a building. Previous research has shown that concrete thin shell slabs are a feasible alternative to flat plates, yielding reduction about 50% in both embodied carbon and self-weight. The proposed shells are to be produced off-site in order to benefit from the precision and controlled environment of a manufacturing plant, which provides the conditions to minimize waste and to benefit from automation. However, due to constraints related to prefabrication, transportation and assembly, shells must be subdivided into segments. Production of the segmented shells relies on the innovative articulation of fabrication technologies, including reconfigurable molds, robotic mound reinforcement and robotic concrete spraying. Presently, the constraints related to the mold system are the ones with the most influence on the design workflow. Today I am presenting the current development of a computational design tool whose ultimate goal is to assist designers in adopting non-prismatic concrete elements in their building designs. Focusing on concrete thin shells, the design tool is supported by a parametric modeling framework to generate efficient shapes through form-finding processes. Subsequent performance analysis of the concrete slab is near, in near, in near, near real time enables the optimization of its shape segmentation layout, and cross-section parameters. Presently, the design workflow is implemented using Grasshopper for parametric modeling, comprising custom components meant to be later included in a plugin to facilitate the design of the stru structural elements being developed in Acorn. The design workflow starts from the set of initial parameters related to the geometry of the required slabs, namely the slab height and bay dimensions, as well as concrete properties. The three-dimensional shape of the shell is then defined for form finding using isogeometric analysis through the Grasshopper plugin Kiwi. Kiwi enables NURBS geometry to be used as an input, as opposed to polygonal meshes, which are typically required by other plugins, such as Kangaroo or Karamba. Consequently, NURBS geometries can still be used in subsequent stages of the design process, which has proven beneficial in the segmentation and pin bed simulation stages. Then we determine the shell's thickness, which should be minimized for reducing the amount of concrete, while keeping critical parameters such as compression stresses and buckling load factors within acceptable ranges. To determine an optimized value for shell thickness, a preliminary finite element analysis is performed on a form found shell using Grasshopper plugin Caramba. Note that throughout the design workflow, analysis tasks are performed using Caramba rather than Kiwi since Caramba provides a wider range of results. In the next step, the shell is decomposed into smaller segments. Currently, segmentation patterns are determined by the intersection of principal stress lines generated by Caramba, so that the segments align with the flow of compression forces, thus preventing sliding failure in the critical direction. An important fabrication constraint is that segmentation in this step is that segments fit the dimensions of the reconfigurable mold's envelope. The network of principal stress lines is determined by parameters related to target dimensions of the segment set which mainly depends on factors such as the number of pin bed modules available and their aggregated dimensions. 
In order to assess if the resulting segments fit the dimensions of the reconfigurable pin, pin bed mold, we develop a stage for simulating it, which determines the number of modules needed for each segment, the most suitable layout, and the resulting pin heights. The final output of the pin bed simulation stage is data that can be fed into the pin bed controller to drive the physical pins, but it is also planned to be used to optimize the segmentation process. The subsequent segmented shell analysis stage models how segments interact with each other. The interface between each pair of segments is modeled in Karamba as a set of springs connecting the adjacent edge of each segment orthogonally. In order to simulate the, shell's segment, the shell segment's behavior, values for translation and rotation stiffness need to be specified. Through parametric studies, sensible intervals were defined for these values, which will be tested on the physical prototypes of the segmented shell. As work by the fabrication team at Cambridge progresses, some of the features of the design tool can be tested. In this slide, you can see an early prototype of the segmented shells including preliminary 3D printed mockups and the first prototype of a concrete segmented shell. Physical testing of the concrete prototype is expected to inform about the accuracy of the digital model and eventually its shortcomings. Finally, the main objective is to have the whole design flow, flow operational in, term, in time for the construction of a demonstration building featuring the segmented shells as a solution for building concrete slabs. Such shells are scheduled for production during the second half of 2021. So we hope that you'll all visit us there. Thanks for listening and looking forward to your questions.